The Missing Snowman by Joe Alby. Mom, Dad, look! Johnny shouted, It's snowing, it's snowing! And before you could say snowflake, Johnny had eaten his breakfast, dressed and run out the door. Outside everything was dressed in white. All the houses were wearing fluffy white hoods. Each tree was wearing a long white gloves on its branches. And best of all, a sparkling white carpet covered every yard. The snow was crisp and crunchy, perfect for building a snowman. Johnny started making snowballs. He rolled one snowball across the yard and as it gathered up the snow it got bigger and bigger until finally it was a huge snowball. Johnny did the same with a second snowball, then a third until each one was just the size he needed. Then he stacked them one on top of the other and patted them smooth. When he was through, he had a snowman that was as big as he was. Johnny stood back and looked at his snowman, but something was missing. What was it? You need some clothes. Mr. Snowman, Johnny decided, I need to dress you up. In Johnny's basement was a chest full of dress-up clothes. In it, he found just the things he needed to turn his plain snowman into a really special one. In a corner of the basement, Johnny spotted an old box and a cardboard tube. I can use this too, he said, and with his arms full of all these wonderful things, Johnny ran up the stairs and back outside. You are going to look great, Mr. Snowman, laughed Johnny as he worked. I bet no one has ever seen a snowman who looks like a pirate. Ship ahoy, full speed ahead, called Johnny. I see someone is coming. Who goes there, friend or foe? Hi, Johnny, laughed Benji. We saw you from our window. Can we play? asked Jen. We brought some things for your snowman. Johnny looked into the bag. These are great, he said. Let's put them on Mr. Snowman right now. And so they took off all the pirate clothes and set to work. What they saw made them all laugh. And Johnny said, I bet no one has ever seen a snowman who looks like... A clown! Look, Johnny shouted as he made some snowballs. I'm Johnny the juggler. Me too, said Benzi. Oops! Juggling snowball is not so easy. Just then Tom and Susie came running across the street. Can we be in your circus? they asked. Ginger can do a lots of tricks, said Susie. Sure! answered Johnny. Other children on the block soon arrived. They all wanted to play with Mr. Snowman. I have got something to keep your snowman warm, said Ned. I brought a funny nose, said Ted. I have something for his head, said Kim. Everyone gathered around to see what the other children had brought. Then off came the clown clothes and in no time at all, Mr. Snowman looked like a snowman. The children played all day. When the sun went down, it was time to go home. Goodbye, Mr. Snowman, they all called. See you tomorrow. Day after day, Mr. Snowman stood in Johnny's yard. And every day, Johnny and all his friends played with him. But little by little, the days began to get warmer. And little by little, Mr. Snowman began to get smaller. The smaller he got, the sadder Johnny felt. Warmer and warmer, smaller and smaller, sadder and sadder. Finally, the day came 
when all was left of Mr. Snowman was a small heap of snow. Johnny was so sad that he started to cry. He missed his snowy friend. Can't we do something to keep Mr. Snowman alive? Johnny asked his mom. But Johnny knew the answer even before his mother shook her head. No, there would be no more snow until next winter. Think of all the fun things you can do in the spring, said Johnny's mother. But she wished she could think of something that would really cheer him up. One afternoon when Johnny came home from school, he saw a little box on his bed. What is this? he wondered. Inside the box was a spiritful glass ball and inside the ball stood a little snowman with a top hat, a scarf and a tiny carrot nose. This snowman is just like Mr. Snowman, cried Johnny. When Johnny turned the ball over, a snowstorm began. Now Johnny makes snowstorms whenever he wants them, even on hot summer days. But best of all, he has a snowman to keep until he can build a real Mr. Snowman again. The End